Yes. Sir, uh, I saw the video uh, with uh, Aulike Milkani. And sir, uh, you know, like, okay, we should, yes, we should uh, not follow the same story every time and we must write our own story. Sir, what is it actually apart from like, you know what you want to do and you're heading on that path. Sir, what is it that, you know, makes you realize it and keeps you going and, you know, you have it in your mind over it. Okay, it's going the way you want it to and it's going to be there. What is it that keeps you motivated for that and is there something that can be done to help us to stay on that path, to write a new story? <coughs> The sheer enjoyment of walking keeps you going. If you think that the lure of reaching, that the lure of the destination keeps you going, then sooner or later you will be exhausted. Those who are attracted by the destination become exhausted. That's why we make goals, but we find that our goals are transient. Goals come and go. Our resolutions keep breaking down because they are all focused on the destination, what you want to get. Contrasted to this is another man who is not thinking at all of the destination because there is hardly any destination. He is enjoying the movement, the traveling itself. That fun in traveling keeps you going. There is no other motivation. See, I, I meet senior students and they have queries regarding career. Huh? They would ask, how do we choose a particular company? How do I know which company is good for me to work in? Which organization? And my advice to them is choose a job that you can do even without being paid. If you can get a job that you would like to do even if it does not pay you anything then you are in heaven then every moment will be joyful. One of my old students came to me and I said, how are you doing? He said, sir, I have set up my own company. He is an MBA pass out 2006. He said, sir, I had established my own firm. I said, how is it doing? He said a few things about the work and then he also added but it's not making any money. In fact, I am feeding it out of my savings. I just said, why? Why are you doing so much for your firm? He said, sir, some seven, eight years back you had told me that if I can find a job that I can do without getting paid, then it will be beautiful. Sir, today I have a job that I am paying for. So you can imagine that it must be very, very beautiful. People work and then they say that I have worked, so you give me money. Hmm? We take that, that's what you call a salary. I have worked, so you give me money. And one reaches a point where one says that thank you that I could work in this way. I worked, now you take money from me. I am so happy that I got the opportunity to do this, that you can take money from me. What keeps them going? What is their motivation? The work itself is the motivation, not the destination. When you find something of that kind in your life, then all the stupidity will vanish. Then all the immaturity and childishness will go away. You know who is a mature man who has known enjoyment? If most of you are immature and appear idiotic and stupid, it is because you are suffering. You have never known enjoyment. The day you enter joy, you have entered maturity. 
all distractions and fidgeting arise from suffering the mind is suffering that's why it is restless it can't stay put at one place it's searching for something the motivation cannot be in the search the motivation has to be in the movement right all right thank you yeah